Welcome back to Road to Glory. Road to Glory! If you haven't seen the first two episodes, there's one on this channel and there's one on Brightline's channel, or there's a playlist probably on both of our channels. Go check them out first. Okay, now you're all up to date. Well, let's get you all properly up to date. So, we are four points behind Knott's Forest in the race for the title. We win today in our, our game in hand and we go one point behind. The title is all in Knott's Forest hands. Promotion is in our hands. Let's get it. So today we play Bournemouth uh, and we also play Wolves. Came out of the last session feeling really positive about really our chances. Good, yeah. um, I feel like Knott's Forest have got to slip up at some point. So as long as we can keep hot, we can get it. Okay, yes. this is the team. However, the boys are tired. Uh, I mean, it could be second team. It might have to be. So, due to the general fitness of the boys, we're going to run you through our second squad. So, Ruish, the king, is still in the net. Then we've got Roger, who played so well for us last time. We've got Jingen, our captain, Calabrese, Acapo, Cousins, Garcia, and Schmojo, Collins, uh, who's a regen, Stockton, who's the king of our hearts, and O'Sullivan, who's a waste of space. Let's get it! I no longer feel confident. Uh, <laughs> I know I came in with a lot of confident energy, but Bournemouth, hope you're ready for a below average League One side. Yeah, we've got 68 defenders in the squad. That's, that's not good. It's not. Our wing is 65, right? Yeah, yeah. He was a kid we signed. Yeah, he was one of our, in one of our youth reports. I don't, I don't like it now. I generally, this feels hard already. Yeah, let's go Schmojo. Wing, O'Sullivan. What a pass. Come on, O'Sullivan. Doctor Use those oh, Irish legs. Ooh! Oh, Ooh, that was a better ball than, than I thought you could do. Let's go, let's go. Sullivan. Oh, oh maybe you're off. No, no flag stays down. Let's go, Stockton! Yes! yes! Let's go, Stockton! Let's go! Come Stockton! On. Cole Stockton, you hero. Oh man, I'm happy with that. That's so Sullivan. Nice little touch. touch. Might you have a Firmino's goal against Leicester. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that was a screamer. Ah, oh, these defenders can't defend. I mean, we can't defend normally. So giving us. Oh, Calabrese! Ah, oh, it's the Italian wonder. Nesta. It's Paolo Maldini reincarnate, depending on who gets that reference. Stockton! Oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stockton! Come Wait, on! That was sick! Oh, maybe he's the guy. So okay. like we said, Stockton is the king, but he's... he just has no pace. He but can, he can finish under pressure. I mean, that's like right, that's right where you want it. And that's first Good. half. Wow. Half. Send me again? Please. <laughs> They're in. Oh, Ruish. King. Go on, it's coming over. Come on, come on, go for the hat trick. Yeah. <laughs> He's absolutely shanked it. By he, I mean me. I, <laughs> I shanked it. Good game. Come on, man. Start to get them out of the match. We're going to make him score in every league. <laughs> Just you wait. As you can see, we are one Ooh. point behind Knott's Forest now. You can see it there. We've won the most games, um, but we've also lost, like, too many. When you look at when you look at the overalls, right, it's those 72, 73s that need to be raised, like like Harriet, uh, oh, Lundstrom, Harriet. Lapsley. I'm only replacing Harriet if we can get somebody as fast. But I'm looking at this diagonal here. Harriet, Lundstrom, Lapsley, Barocca. That's where I think we need to strengthen. So if you watch the last couple of episodes, uh, what we do is we kind of play a couple of games, but also we want to chat about mental health, like it's in the me and Jacob. Yeah. Today we want to talk about something that's actually really important to both of us. We want to yeah. talk about self-image. Yeah, I think I think for me, bro, I think something that's happened to me a lot is that like a big thing with comparison. Yeah. And I think the self-image thing kind of falls into there, and I find myself like, and it's weird. It's like sometimes the people who are closest to me that I find myself like comparing myself to them. I'm like, oh, do, do I get as many laughs as them when they tell a joke? Do I? you know, uh, get as much attention to them when, you know, I wear my brand new shoes. Do you, do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it feels like really dumb stuff. And, and I started doing this thing like a few years ago, like I said, I was like really just like conscious about like, oh, I need to look cool every day. I need to make sure outfits look good. Cause I'm like, I want people to think I'm cool. So I suppose the big thing with me is like, I, I've cared for a long time and I've cared what people think about me. What about you, dude? Yeah, I think comparison's massive for me as well. I think it, it all stems from that, right? It's like, um, it's just, looking at someone going, oh man, I wish I looked like that, or I wish I acted like that, or whatever. And then you kind of end up questioning yourself, and that's the thing with comparisons, you always feel like you lose, you know, oh, Jacob, yeah, he does good at guitar. 
probably better than you, bro. <laughs> he's probably. I don't know if that's true. He probably looks I don't know if that's you. true. And like, it, like, whether it's true or not, that's where your head goes, right? Yeah, 100%. It's just that mindset. Like, what if I'm not as good? What if I'm not as good as this person? The most important thing that I've learned, and it's almost a cliche for me, I don't know if it's a cliche for anybody else, but I've said to myself so many times, it's becoming cliche. It's like, there's no one else who can fill that mark waiting for you on the shape of the person. Like, yeah. there's nobody who can live my life other than me. It's good, man. And, like, so to know that, like, when I compare myself to other people, like, that, that's okay to notice the good parts, and it's okay to notice my weaknesses. Like, those are two good things to, to see, but that doesn't yeah. negate my value. Yeah. That doesn't diminish my value as a person. Just because someone is funnier or someone um, has a better Turkish football team than <laughs> me. <laughs> Like, actually, I am who I am. Mm-hmm. And that gives me inherent value. For sure. And, like, then on top of that, viewing that from a Christian perspective, um, it's, like, a whole nother level. It's not just, like, you're an individual and you've got your the things that make you you, but actually, I believe they've been intentionally put there by a creator, by a designer for a specific purpose. Yeah. So when I feel low about myself, yeah. it's no longer about me and my image or it's no longer about comparison. It's not about my insecurities or anything like that. But actually... I can look at those things that maybe I don't like about myself and go, okay, well, actually, you know what? I think God's put those there for a reason. And, like, that's what helps me through stuff, like, but then what, what helps you, bro? Yeah, for sure. I think, like, what what, what you were saying is, is so important is remembering that there is only one me, you know what I mean? And that comparison is actually, can be quite a negative thing. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, if you're always looking at how that person looks or how that person acts or I want to be more like that, then who's ever going to meet you? They're just going to meet copies like copies of other people yeah, yeah, sure. and like just and and to be honest they're just going to be bad imitations of other people aren't they mm-hmm. like why it's so important just to own who you are and and that that's still a thing and I, I you'll probably agree with this but it's still like a thing i have to do every day you yeah, know what i mean yeah, just yeah, reminding yeah. myself that you know what like i am unique and i am important i am special just the way that i am and sure. so like and people like me for who i am not because like i'm trying to be that person or this person or that person and then and then oh it's just it's crazy like it says in the Bible, you know, like we, if you saw other episodes, you know, the, the Bible's, you know, the book that Christians read, and it says that, like, God's thoughts for us, right, are like the grains of sand on the sea. Uh, that God's... <laughs> the like grains on the what? <laughs> God's thoughts for us are like the grains of sand on the beach. Oh, on the beach. On that's, the beach. that's way more there. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, you, you just think about when you go to the beach and you get the sand in between your toes and then you go home and it's just everywhere. Like, sand, there is so much sand, but... It's like, like Anakin in the room. I hate sand. I hate sand. It's, it's coarse, so sandy. It's everywhere. <laughs> but God thinks about us that much, as much as the grains of sand are on the beach. And then even, like, it says something else. It says, like, and, and like, even the hairs on our heads are numbered. So if that shows how, you know, important he is to us, then that shows how significant we are to him him Mm. like the god who created everything you put the stars in the sky put the fish in the sea he created you and me spitting bars but it just shows how important we are to to him i think the biggest thing is we need to see ourselves how he sees us and that's a challenge every day (laughs) you know what i mean yeah because we forget we're so forgetful yeah but um should we play some more fifa i think we should play some more fifa knowing that we are created to be excellent carlisle managers (laughs) Let's get into this game against Wolves and be the people God made us to be who are terrible defenders. <laughs> Let's run through the squad. Let's run through the squad. So at the back, we've got Ruish. He is king of our hearts. King of our hearts. Captain, Ruish. my captain, Captain, Wu-Chan. my captain, Wu And then we've got Bissek, Barocco, and Justin. They hold up the back. In the middle, we've got the L team. Lapsi, Lundstrom, and Lev. And then on our wings, we've got Harriet, who's a little bit tired. On the right wing, we've got Munoz. And then... Holy Maguire. Holy Maguire. If we score, we shout Holy Maguire. And uh, if Maguire scores. If Maguire scores, we shout Holy Maguire. All right, I wonder how many people this wall side we recognize. Rustic. So Stevenson. Wow. So the orphan. Don't just orphan. walked around us so mm-hmm. far. And Ruiz. It's not that a was... promising start. No. It's a good job we played second team against Bournemouth, right? 100%. Hey, we got it. Hey, we still got it. Hey, we Go on, back, 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 back. Oh, no! I think he's still on. I think that other fullback player won't. Go on. It's there. Holy Maguire. That's Munoz. Oh. <laughs> it was so fast I got confused. So Munoz. Munoz with a girl. <laughs> Lapsley. Everywhere. Lapsley is everywhere. 
Listen, mate, you're supposed to be Oh, my days. And my heart runs dry. I need to think about now. <laughs> Harriet is dead out there. That O'Sullivan's not great. Did we tried oh, Garcia Williams. on the wing? Oh, Williams. I want Williams back, but he's broken his leg. <laughs> It's weird for FIFA for real players to play as themselves. Yeah, hundred percent. Because like they might not. Be good I love those. Good. I love it when they do like when they do like the reveals of their FIFA cards and they all go like, "Wait, I've got sixty pace and stuff." And it's like <laughs> get like heartbroken. They're like, "No, I, I beat them in races, bro." And like, yeah, but it's about like how you are on the pitch. It's prop, proper cracks me up. Like Laver cut in. Oh, that was fantastic defense. Oh wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> just wow. Just happened. Munoz, Munoz, Munoz. Oh, we are getting in behind him. Come on, please, 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 please! Oh! oh we hit the wall oh, again! Yeah. Oh, Serious. Unbelievable. Was that the third or fourth time? We hit three in one game before, so I feel like it's got to be like five or six. Let's work that one time. Ready? No, I don't know where I am. Oh, I did it, I did it. Oh. Oh! Well, I mean, a better header and that's in. Oh, good. Yes, it is. I'm confused because every tackle I got the ball in. Okay, it's coming to the right. Oh, it's sweaty. <laughs> it's so sweaty. <laughs> It's Holy so Maguire! Holy Maguire! Hit those comments in. <laughs> Holy Maguire! I mean, that that's shambles. I'm sorry. I can't. We sweaty. We absolute. I'm, I'm sweaty. <laughs> I'm so sweaty and I'm so sorry. But I mean, you've got to do it. It's got to be done, isn't it? <laughs> it's got to be done sometimes. <laughs> Good game. Two 2-0 two victories. This means, I guess, I, I feel like we defend like an absolute... Shambles, but Ruiz saves us so many times. Yep, I feel exactly but, like, the same. Sheffield, not Forest have dropped points. We're going to top. Do we go top? They've dropped points. They've, they've, we just, have we just I top? think we've just gone top. Have we just gone top? We just gone. Yes, we are top by one point. Oh my days! Wait, how many games? Is that five games left. Five this games left. We are top. Not Forest have dropped points. Headlines. Oh my gosh. So join us for episode four. We're going to be hosting on Brightline's channel to see how this finishes. I'm excited, I hope you are too. Up the Carlisle, let's get it. Yeah! Generic! Goodbye! Thanks for watching this video. We are Max Wolves and we're a band from Manchester. We're all about telling people about the hope that we found in Jesus through using videos and music. However you're doing today, we want you to know that there is more to life than we've been told. There is a God and he cares about you. And the Bible says that all you've got to do is put all of your trust in Jesus and you will be more than alive. If you want to know more about that, hit up the link in the description. Make sure that you hit the like, that you smash the subscribe, and you don't forget to ding the bell for notifications. And here's a bunch of stuff that YouTube thinks you'll like. See you next time.